morning. Um, let's start by warming up in today's Pilates session. Begin with your feet hip distance apart, your knees are soft, shoulders, hips, knees and feet aligned and roll the shoulders back and down, lift the chest, lift the head towards the ceiling, keep the spine in neutral and engage your core and pelvic floor muscles to 30%. Let's roll the shoulders. We'll do a few backwards shoulder rolls, painting little circles on the walls. Imaginary walls at the side of your shoulders. Now take it the other direction. And warming up our shoulders. We're going to warm up all the joints. Okay, let's raise the arms. And lower. If that's too much, just raise them in line with the shoulders and lower. Don't want to flare the chest, so just whatever's comfortable with you. Now this time I'll just come back a little bit. So we're going to raise, go over to the side, back to the center and down. Lateral bend. Raise. Lateral center. Raise. Lateral. Lower. A few more. We'll add in a squat in just a second with a heel raise work our way up to that. Now this time we'll add squat, centre, squat, raise, lateral, centre, lower and squat. And then we're going to add in a heel raise. Let's go into the heels. Heel raise. Take it over. Stay up on the heels if you can. Now you'll see my legs shaking away because it's those fast twitch muscles that are working to keep you balanced. Last one. Okay, now some, we're going to get some rotation in our spine. So you're going to come out, rotate, back to the center. So it's a forward lunge, rotate, and back, mobilizing hips and the ankles, feet. Now you could just do a spinal rotation if that's too much for you. Adding in the legs as well, you could just rotate the spine. One more. Yes, so you could just take it into a spinal rotation in the future if you think that's too much for me like that. Okay, let's swing the leg. So we're swinging our, your right leg. Put that down, let's go to the other. Swing. Now you'll feel that your arm just wants to come out <laughs> and you will want to use your arms for balance. Do that again. This time I want you to take the leg behind and take, raise the opposite arm. Put it down and change. Just swing the arm whatever way works for you best and change. Now into a knee, knee with opposite arm raise, lateral out to the side, then take the leg behind, add in a squat in the middle. Do that on the other side. Knee comes up into knee raise, Leg comes out into a lateral raise, then into a rear, and now a little squat in the middle. Knee, then a lateral raise, and a rear elevation, and a squat. Last time, the knee, and lateral, and behind, and squat. Let's come to the end of your mat, we'll roll down. So we're going to, to roll down, we're going to tuck the chin and we're going to roll down towards the mat. So inhale, tuck the chin, roll down, engage the abs and roll back up nice and slowly. Okay, we're going to do that again. So get ready. We're going to inhale, tuck, roll. When you get to the bottom, have a quick pause 
and then inhale, engage the abdominals and roll back up. Feet should be hip distance apart. Do that again. Tuck the chin to chest, roll down. Little pause. Engage the abdominals and then roll back up one vertebrae at a time. And your head is the last thing to come up. And roll the shoulders back. Next time we go down, we're going to go out onto the mat. Tuck the chin roll down, come out onto the mat and then stay in this position or come onto your knees and we're going to go into press up. So for press up you can either be on the knees coming forward, the elbows are close to the hands and you'll press up taking your chest towards the mat. You can take it into a box press up taking your triceps down towards the mat if that's pre preferable or you can go on the toes and let's go with that now so up on the toes or knees and let's do some press ups so you're going to aim for about eight don't bother about the beat of the music with this just go at your own pace so elbows are coming into the ribs so it's a narrow press up I think I'll go for two more. Okay, we're going to go into prone leg pull preparation. So coming into all fours, scoot yourself, make sure you've got enough room behind you for your leg to extend. Um, wrists, under your elbow, uh, wrists under your shoulders and knees under your hips. We are going to just extend one leg and bring it back in. Extend and bring it back in. Okay, so we'll do that now. So extend, bring it in. Extend, in. Extend. So we're, we're going at sort of twice the speed we were initially. Try to keep the hips square and not rocking. Now this time, you're going to take tuck your toes under and you're going to use your core strength to take your knees off the mat temporarily like so and then return to the mat okay so we're going to do maybe about 10 of these in total so let's get ready and we're going to we're going to raise and lower engage the core raise and lower so this is all preparation for our leg pull raise so knees are just coming off the mat by just a, a little bit, a little inch or so. And lower. So looking just beyond the mat. Try to avoid looking at your knees. And lower. Maybe a couple more. And this will be the last one. Now, for prone leg pull, you can do this from the knee or we can do this um, in a plank position we're going to just prepare for the plank position if you want to do it in plank then um, you can prepare the plank position um, up onto the toes with me or you can just stay on the knees and just continue to do those little elevations off of the, the, the mat with your knees so if you're going to take it up onto the toes we're going to start back a little bit at the back of the mat and you're going to dig the toes in, engage the core and, and take raise up and then come back. Do that again. Come back. So exhale as you raise and inhale as you lower. Again. So your body's nice and long. One last time like this. Now, either hold up or come down onto your knees. If you're, if you're staying down on your knees, you're going to go into the prone leg pull. You'll bring your knees back over again towards the hips, underneath the hips. And you're going to take one leg out. If you're doing this on the knees, you're going to extend one leg and then you're going to raise it up level with the hip. Not too high. Okay, and elongating throughout the leg as if you're trying to touch something that's way in the distance. Okay, if you're doing this on the toes, then we are going to scoot back a little bit to begin with and we're going to go for that now. So you'll be using alternating legs each time that I say to change. Okay, 
So join me now, come up onto the hands if you can, and we're just going to take one foot off the mat and extend it out nice and long. Take it up to the hip level and then back down. Switch to the other foot, raise it to hip level, back down to the mat, and back in. So take the foot off the mat, take it up to hip level and you'll come slightly forward. Come back a little bit and put that down. Foot comes off the mat, you'll go forward slightly as your leg comes up and then back and down. Foot's off the mat, raise, take it back and down. One more, raise, take the foot down and come down. Go into a child's pose and stretch out across the shoulders. Feel a lovely stretch across the shoulders, top of the arms, and the back. Now, come down onto your back. We'll go into some hundreds. So, come down with control, engaging your core. For the hundreds, you can choose whether you want to have your feet remaining on the mat or whether you want to take your legs up into the tabletop or whether you want to take the legs out to 45. Okay, I'm going to begin. This is always the challenge to keep the microphone on the head when you lie back on the mat. I'm going to begin by going into tabletop with my legs. So, keeping the lower back on the mat, engage your ab abdominals, engage your core, and putting your spine on the mat. Take one knee, sorry, take one foot off the mat, and the knee comes up into tabletop. Take the other off the mat into tabletop. Elongate throughout the calves and toes. And then you can choose whether you're going to have head, neck and shoulders on or off the mat. I'm going to take mine off into Pilates stance. And we're going to have a pumping motion with the arms where we will inhale and exhale for five feet, five pumps. So let's do that now. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. 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 Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale. Get a little space between your chin and your chest, as if you have an apple and orange. I think we're going on to our last set now, last ones. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Take those knees, hug them into the chest. Relax that into your neck. Turn, have a little head turn to ease off any tension in your neck. And then, release any tension in your lower back. Let's come on to your side. We're going to go into side lying exercises now. So come down onto your side. Take your legs to the back of the mat to begin with to prepare yourself. Your head should be resting on it. Your um, arm should be outstretched and flat on the mat. Please don't prop your head up for this one. You can fold the arm if that's more comfortable and rest your head on a folded elbow, which is sometimes quite nice. And I want you to take your legs to 45 degrees. Then top leg comes out level and in line with, um, your, it comes in line with the rest of your body. And we are going to circle that leg. We're going to circle backwards. Now hand can either rest on your hips or it can stay at the front on the mat. If it's at the front on the mat, then you're going to have more support if it's on your hips, you're going to have a little bit less support and your body's going to have to work that little bit harder to stabilise you and to balance you. Two more. Two more after this, then we're going to change direction. Let's change direction, pause at the top. I'm going to come forward and down now. Okay, so this is such a nice move. Like builds up your flexibility and your strength and mobility in your hip flexors, strength in the posterior chain, you're going to feel 
canvas and the glitz. Four more. Then we're going to take that leg back in line with the body again and we're going to point and raise, flex and lower. Point and raise, flex and lower. So lengthen throughout your leg as if you're trying to reach something imaginary that's just out with your reach with your foot. You're like a pencil, you're trying to pick up a pencil with your toes. Keep the shoulders back. I know it's a lot to think about. Keep the leg up there, let's pulse. Pulse. The little pulses. Can you go for eight more? I know it's hard. Really hard. Four more left. Oh, hard. There we go. And take that in, give it a pat. Oh. Let's take it over to the other side. Other side, I'll just have to move my receiver pack so that we don't end up breaking it, which has happened in the past. Okay, so lying at the back of the mat, the same setup as before, your head is lying on your outstretched, your outstretched arm. Bend the knees to 45, the leg on top comes out in line with the body, and we're going to circle up and back. Let's do that now. It's a really nice move. If this is too fast for you. you just go at your own pace and slow it down. Again, length throughout the leg. Reaching away with your toes. Four more. And then we're going to change direction. And let's keep it at the top and stop. So we'll do the reverse now, coming forward and down. If you want to take your hand off and take it up in the air for a bit more challenge, that's something you could think about doing. Right, take that leg in line with the body, point and raise, flex and lower. Again, think about the extension throughout the leg, lengthening. One more after this. And then we're going to go into those pulses. They are a little bit of a killer. Keep it up and let's pulse. I think it doesn't help that we're pulsing. But it's the beat of that music is not fast. So you're actually pulsing little pulses. But they're quite slow in terms of pace, which means you can't rush them. Last one, take that leg in and hug it. Yes, yeah, sometimes when the music's fast and you go you, you pulse, then you can actually kind of rush the pulsing and then it, you know it's not as bad. But we were pulsing that leg up, little pulses, to quite a Quite a, quite a sedentary beat actually. <laughs> yep, so come on to your back, whichever way you're lying. We're going to we're going, we're going to go into abdominals. So I want you to take the legs. So I want you to open the knees and the chest. Come on out. Hugging the knees into the chest. I want you to then release on one leg, any leg, and extend it away from the body. It doesn't have to be high, it just be a little bit higher than hip level. Okay, we're just going to get used to that feeling just now and then switch. Extend the other leg away, switch again, hug the other knee into the chest and switch. Now, you don't need to do anything fancy with the hands. You can just keep the hands on the knees, hugging the knee, or you can take one hand to the ankle and one hand to the outside of the knee. Now, your leg, head can come up, head, neck and shoulders can come up off the mat, if you're able to. And we're just gonna switch, switch, switch. So this is a single leg stretch. 
don't worry about the way of music, just go at your own pace. It doesn't have to be a slow pace. <laughs> we can be speeding that up a little bit. Take the knees, have them into the chest. Okay. Now we're going to go into some toe taps. So I want you to take your feet down first onto the mat. I want you to imprint your spine to the mat as you take one leg into tabletop and the other leg into tabletop. So nice and long throughout the calves and the feet. Now, you might have noticed my feet don't ever kind of look like they're pointing at us, but I had an injury, foot injury, <laughs> many years ago with a break, which makes it quite difficult for me to, to demonstrate that. Um, yeah, so I um, kind of got quite inflexible metatarsals as a result of that break. Um, yeah, so that's that's quite tricky, um, but I want you to lengthen throughout your toes and feet um, and your calves and you're going to just lower, tap and point, your feet alternating them, engage your core, so try to imagine that mind-muscle connection, you try to imagine that you are using your muscles in your core to lower and then bring your leg back to their starting point rather than using the legs to do it think about controlling that movement with your core a few more now you can take your head off the mat as well that's an option okay a few more and then we're going to actually combine a little bit of what we did before with the single leg stretch but we're going to add in just now, we're going to add in a twist. So we're bringing in an oblique twist. It's up to you whether you want to slow it down and do a double pulse. So you could do a double pulse and a double like this, or singles. A few more like this, and we're going to lengthen one of their legs and, and with that motion that we had earlier of the single leg stretch. Lengthen it now, so bring your leg in. So we're getting the single leg switch, but with that oblique engagement also. Now you could keep your leg, you could keep your head down and just go into the double leg switch and um, single leg switch again, if you don't have that crunch, that elevation of the head, neck and shoulders. Okay, a few more, four, three, two, one, knees coming in, and hug to the chest. Now, either with the head, neck and shoulders on the ground, or lifting it up into Pilates stance, we're going to go into double leg stretch. To begin with, let's just stretch out the arms overhead, bring them circling back round to the knee. Hands come out overhead and circle. Do that again. Hands come up, circle, one last time, and circle. Now this time, let's just take the legs out. The legs come to 45, and bring them back in and hug them again again. The legs come to 45, bring them back in. Now if you want, extend the arms out, plus the head, neck and shoulders are still on the mat, and do that again. And this time, if you want to take the head, neck and shoulders off the mat as you extend, hug them back in. So extend arms and legs away in opposite directions, and then bring them back and hug them in. Hug those knees. We're going to do a few more. We've got two more after this. Any time, just put your head back on the mat or just take either the arms or the legs out of this move if you prefer. The last one. Hug your knees to chest, head comes down, tilt your head from side to side to ease out any tension in your neck. Okay. So, I want us now to go into a spine twist. So, coming, um, I'll sit. I'll tilt my mat slightly 
on the diagonal so you can see this. Now you can do this actually from cross-legged position. So you can do it seated with cross legs um, if that's preferable or you can have your legs out, extended out on the mat. If you're doing it like this, then your, um, your legs should just be a little bit wider than hip distance apart, but not much, okay? And then um, ideally we should be doing this with your legs slightly out turned and lengthened throughout the legs pointing away with the toes and the feet. So you're standing up nice and tall. Your arms are, can either come out like this or you can have them in Cossack or prayer. I'm going to have them like this in a scarecrow. Shoulders back and down, arms level with your shoulders. Inhale, exhale, turn and rotate your spine and take it back to the center. Inhale, exhale, rotate it another direction. Return to center. Exhale, inhale as you return. Exhale, inhale. We're not going to add in the saw today. We're just going to keep it as this nice spine twist. We'll just do a couple more. One last one. Really good, well done. Now, coming on to your tummy, we're just going to go into a back extension. I really kind of meant to do a back extension at the beginning when we were prone, um, but we can add one in now as well, there's no harm. So come down into prone position on the mat, and I want you to have your hands at the side of your face. We're gonna go into a little back extension, just a variation of the swarm today. So arms are coming out at the side of the head, the legs are just slightly wider than hip distance apart and I want you to have your feet and your toes turned under, the legs slightly out turned and lengthened throughout the legs. I want you to imprint your hips and your pelvic um, area into the, the mat and then engage the core and you should feel a little gap now between your tummy and the mat. If you wanted to put a thin envelope between yourself and the mat, that should be possible. Okay, And we're going to inhale and we're going to exhale. Keeping the elbows on the mat just now. And we're just extending the back. And turn to centre as you inhale. Okay, we're going to do that again. And take that down. Take it up. Do this at your own pace as well. There's no need to be in the time to the beat of some music or anything like that. You can if you want to, but you can be completely offbeat like I am right this very second. Okay, a few more. Now, we're going to take that up a little bit more and we're going to try and get, so take that arms down now, we're going to try and take the elbows off and then just bring those arms up a little bit more. Your chest coming up off the mat you're using that pelvic um, area to keep your lower body on the mat. Now this time we're going to see if we can just almost straighten the arms. So your arms will need to come out a little bit more in front of you. If that's too much please just stay in the position that you were in before. Now, let's bring in some legs. So raise your chest, bring it back down, and then let's have a double leg raise and bring that back down. Chest comes up, lowers, and then the legs both come up and they return. Do that again. Now engage your core to protect that lower back. One last time. I'm actually feeling this a lot in my triceps just now because I happen to have done, um, come back into child's pose, I happen to have done quite heavy tricep workout two days ago, which is a lot of people know to do weights. You, you often feel that, not the next day, but the following day after that, and I could 
really feel that there just now. Come back into a child's pose, stretching out across the shoulders and the back. Okay. Now, we're going to go into rolling like a ball and then rocker. Well, if you want to go into rocker as well, then that's an option. So, for rolling like a ball, scoot to the front of your mat and take hold of the legs, the bottom of the thighs, or you could take hold of them near to the ankles, just anywhere. You don't need to be gripping hold of them really hard, just um, lightly holding them. And you're going to curve and curl the back in towards your knees, and you're going to tuck your head, and then you're going to take your feet off the mat and roll backwards. Oh, I just realized I've forgotten to move my, sorry, <laughs> forgot to move my, my microphone pack and it nearly got squashed there. That would be not good. It's happened before, and it just basically it just basically falls apart if, it, if that happens, and it just it's a disaster. The whole thing has to then stop. I think I'll bring that right into the centre of me. Okay, so getting I'm going to get ready again for that. <laughs> so I'm going to tuck my head towards the knees and round my back in a C curve, and I'm going to come down, roll, and back up. Do that again. It's just rolling like a ball. So you have a C curve in the spine as you do that. Keep that C curve there as you return. And of course, because balls have that curve, we don't want to see any straight backs. Use your core to stop yourself from scooting off your mat. <laughs> right, sitting up. And for those of you who might want to then progress and go into something like a rocker, um, thinking about the open leg rocker and then and we can just go through a bit of that just now and you can decide which level you want to be at in this today. So for the open leg, leg rocker we're sitting up a little bit tall to begin with however we're going to bring that curve back in again soon so if you can take one leg up and the other leg up just to prepare for that just now and then take a roll back to the C curve. So extend back, extend and tap, C curve and roll like a ball. Let's do that again. Extend and tap. Extend and tap. Get that C curve and roll like a ball. Now, in the, ro well, the, uh, the rocker, we can then progress to um, our legs staying opened in that. Let's do another roll like a ball and then let's see if anyone is up for doing a double leg lift at the end and bringing them back to centre. So roll, double leg lift, roll, double leg lift. Now this time hold the double leg lift and I want you to have your legs just about hip distance apart in this. But then try to then stabilise the body and get the head up and the neck, head and neck are raised. The shoulders back if you can, I know that's hard. And then try to use your abdominals to stabilise yourself upright. And then take the C curve in and you're going to ro rock backwards. Rock up and then use your abdominals, your core, to stabilise yourself. I think I've gone slightly squint. Get the C curve again. Rock. Oh, you're going to wobble and then you're going to stabilise yourself. Sitting up nice and tall. One more time. C curve. Rock. And then find your balance and there we are there you go right take your legs a bit wider than hip distance apart you can do this again with cross legs if you want to if you find it difficult sitting up on your sit bones with your legs out in front of you and um, so you decide if you want to do this with your legs crossed we're going to sit up and we're going to go into a spine stretch to stretch our spine so up nice and tall you're going to take your arms out at shoulder level. You're going to inhale and exhale. And as you exhale, you're going to reach forward and down. Now start with your legs long and pointed to begin with and then take it back. But if you can, then can you flex your feet and you're going to bring your toes towards you. Inhale, exhale. As you take your arms forward and you're down towards the mat and towards your toes and then come back up, sit up nice and tall, inhale and then exhale, 
So the idea is that you're moving your spine forwards and down. And then coming back, raising up and back. Inhale, exhale. You're coming forwards and down. And then take that back, raise it and take it back. And one last time. Forwards and down. And then come back. Good stuff, well done. So we are going to go into cool down stretches. For that, scoot yourself towards the front of your mat. Take hold of your knees or use your hands if you need to for support and take yourself down onto your back. Rolling down slowly and with control. And I want you to take one knee and hug it into your body. Hug one knee into your chest. The other foot remains on the mat. If you're very flexible, you can take the other leg out in this. But I'm going to keep mine there just now. Extend that leg that you're hugging up towards the ceiling. Dorsiflex the foot so that the foot is coming towards you. And then take hold of the leg above or below the knee joint. Inhale, enjoy the music, enjoy that chilled feeling. Exhale, bring your toes and your leg towards you. The idea being that you will get your thigh near to your chest. But try to keep the legs straight um, in doing so. So it's more about straightening that leg without locking it also. Keep the lower back on the mat. And as I said, you can extend your leg, the lower leg out. Inhale and exhale. As you exhale, you should be able to pull and have a little bit more resistance um, bringing that leg towards you. Like take your foot, take it across the opposite knee and with your hands, clasp them behind that other leg and then you bring your leg towards you. Hugging it into the body, you feel a bigger stretch in that glute. You can actually get a nice little spine massage in the lower spine at the same time. Switch, take the other knee in towards the chest then extend that foot and leg inhale exhale as you take hold of the leg one more time inhale exhale bringing the leg closer towards the body and just close your eyes and drift away and just think about something really pleasant something really nice a special place or a favorite memory as you just relax and enjoy that beat of that music. It's actually really quite relaxing music. Inhale, exhale. Taking that in a little bit closer. Now take the foot and put it onto the other knee and clasp your hands behind the knee, bringing your leg in towards the body. Okay, so take that leg and put it down. Now, hugging the knees, we're going to just Take yourself up and then we're going to come over onto one side, any side, and we're going to stretch out the quad. So your head is on your outstretched arm and I want you to take one heel to glute, the leg that's on top, the heel's going to come up to your glute, tilt the pelvis forward and then you'll feel the resistance as you pull with your hand in the opposite direction. Come over to the other side of the mat or just simply roll over and switch. And we're going to stretch out your other quad. So the head comes onto the outstretched hand again, the heel comes to the glute, tilt the pelvis. And then come up, come onto all fours, and you're going to stretch out your back. We're going to go into cat and cow. So make sure you're aligned and you're going to inhale, exhale, scoop your pelvis towards your rib cage. As if you're trying to shorten that gap between the pelvis and the ribs. And release and lower going into the cow stretch. Inhale, exhale. We're going into the cats. And release. We'll do that one more time. Take it back into a lovely child's pose, feeling that stretch again throughout the back. So right, we're going to take one leg forward into a hip flexor stretch. So any leg will do, bringing it forward, leaning forward, tilting the pelvis. Your 
Your shoulders are back and down, your chest lifted. You can take a hat and arm over and stretch out your delt. We were working them quite a lot when we were doing our prone leg pull earlier in, in our all fours positions also. Switch, take the other leg forward to stretch out the other hip flexor. Other arm comes across. Good stuff. Now, come up slowly and carefully. You can roll up and control. Head comes up last. And then we're going to take one foot behind and stretch out the calf. So leaning forward onto the front leg, roll the shoulders back, clasp the hands out behind you as you stretch out across the chest. Switch. The other leg comes out behind. Clasp the hands in front, reaching away from your body to stretch out the shoulders back. Look down at the floor. Okay, then I'm just going to get my straight in my mat. Stretch out the triceps and the other tricep. And then take your legs wide. Inhale and exhale. One more time. Bring the feet in together. Roll your shoulders a few times back, a few times forward. And then we're just going to remobilize the back and spine. A few twists here and there. And well done. Thank you so much for joining me today and for taking part in my Pilates session today. I hope you had a good time and I hope you have enjoyed the rest of your day, whatever you're doing today. It's nice and sunny outside here and I'm going to get a nice bit of a walk, a bit of gardening done. So whatever you're doing, make it a good one and I'll see you again soon. Bye.